Welcome back, you guys. This is Tessindra, continuing my Hoi for Kaiserite campaign as the German Empire. Now, we are invading England, and it's going to be a quick war, I imagine. I just think I just unpause, and then we can just win. But they might be able to hold on. I can send my uh, army, my main army, over. But I think I can do this without them. But... I might as well just send them, right? I got the boats, I got the troops, and it's gonna make the war easier. Just go like this and uh, attack. So the syndicalists are pretty much dead. Every single one of them. Unfortunately. Hey, London fell. So once they fall... What? Uh, our German syndicalist rider... Oh. Some German syndicalist rider died. Okay, and I got PP for that. Okay, wonderful. We're still heavily in debt with uh, PP because uh, I annexed France. But that's fine, right? We need all that stuff for, um, you know, we need the crumpets, the croissants, and all that nice, juicy French stuff, right? Fighter baiting. Sure, we'll keep doing the the, uh, the doctrines. We are a bit behind on them anyway. Yeah, it looks like this is just going to be a stomping. And we got Liverpool is the new capital. How close are they to capitulating? Halfway there. And then Liberia is a great nation? Why? Why is Liberia a great nation? They have a golden border. Which usually means that they are a great nation. Sure. Yeah, resistance to occupation. Uh huh. How am I supposed to get to Liberia? There we go. Union of Britain has capitulated. Wonderful. So, that did not take long. So, the only ones left here are South Italy and Liberia. So I'm going to send my marines to invade from here to... Uh, I don't know, the, know if we can take the capital. Like this? Try that. And the rest of you guys just go back to defending... The shoreline. Mm, like... Uh, like this, okay? And I'll try to get my mobile assault squads um, somewhere. Uh, I think we can land them and do some damage with them. Hopefully. Let's see, who's missing? Get over there. Yeah! Okay, uh, let's get across. Come on. And... Apparently it takes a while. There we go. There they are. So, so still like the Shetland Islands and the Orkneys and the Isle of Man here. Still under control, but uh, it's fine. Also have Holland. Huh. Oh, Britain took this. Interesting. So we actually have to wait until Liberia gets conquered. And they are at war with the Entente and us. Look at this. Kingdom of France is going to wipe them out. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, motherfucker. What is this? Iceland? They are a part of the Entente. Yeah, I suppose. So we are at war with Russia now. Okay. Okay. I thought we would end up in a war with Russia at some point. Just didn't know it was going to happen right away. Um, let's focus on the northern part. Go of the Petrograd. Go. Actually, not, not go. Let's just... 
I'm gonna send my motorized to handle uh, somebody else right now. And we'll see what happens. I think Liberia is dead. I think we only have to worry about southern Italy. And Portugal has already invaded them. Portugal is a part of the Entente. Can we use that? We are fighting on the same side, right? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Move to... Yeah, just move across. Come on. Can I just dock with you guys? Here. No, I cannot. Sicily and us are not on the same side. Interesting. Um, how do I attack them? Uh, give me a second here. I'm also recording this from my mom's house over the holidays. Hopefully we don't get bothered, but if we do, I apologize. It's the holidays, you know. It's hard to plan stuff like this. And I might have to help my mom cook later. Which is, uh... I'm not a good cook. <laughs> I am not a good cook. So. If you do do get uh, fought back. Which it looks like it's gonna... That's, gonna, that's what's gonna happen. Liberia has capitulated. What happened to this war? Oh, so the war is over. Right. So. I'm gonna pass once. And then we got 5,000 score. So Switzerland, take all states. Liberia, take all states. Italy, take all states. Britain, take all states. Yeah. And turn. Done. Damn. Let's see. The fate of Switzerland. All across the old Swiss confederation, the French, German, and Italian-speaking cantons are starting to experience small-scale revolts against our garrisons. Granting independence to the Swiss would appease this dissent, while also guaranteeing another valuable member into our alliance. Some rich right-wing politicians, however, propose a complete dissolution of the old confederation, annexing the German-speaking areas of the, to the Reich, or maybe even a partition of Switzerland with France and Italy. No, let's just annex all of them. Yep. Fate of Southern Italy. Occupy them. They're mine. Sorry. Grain and steel is done. And... Do I even want this? What do I want to do right now? What do I want to do right now? No, we're not going to do anything there. Um, let's just do this to get the civilian factories. I might as well. So... We are no longer at war with Italy, so I can send my mobile assault squads to here and tell them to go for Petrograd. The Partitioning of Britain. After defeating the Union of Britain, we now control Great Britain. We can partition these lands and create new countries with loyal governments. I see. Total occupation of Great Britain. Yeah. So we're heavily in debt in PP, but... I just want all of this for myself. It's all mine. Ah, ah, ah. You guys are damaged, but it's fine. Are you guys repairing? Yes, you are. Okay, good. That's all I care about. And you guys can go. Just attack Russia. So by doing this, we are going to focus on Petrograd, and then we can just sort of swoop down into Moscow. We'll wipe out uh, the Baltic stuff. These guys are already moving. They can just attack when they're ready. The Marines, you can stop this. And just, uh, I don't know, just garrison uh, Berlin. I don't think I need them anymore. Unfortunately. Who is this? 
Right, Finland. Finland is a part of the uh, empire of Middle Europa. What's going on? Okay. The game froze there for a second. Uh-huh. So there's 13 squads here. That's fine. Can we push? My tanks should be here pushing. No, they're not pushing. What? No. Yeah, they go here and then like this and just go, okay? Just push. Yeah, downfall instability. I know, I know. It's not good. But we're already winning, so who cares? Really? Oh, right. Estonia is not a part of this war, right? No, they are independent. So we're going to swoop up here and wipe out uh, uh, Pre-Baltica. Come on, push. Push! You can do it! Pair defense. Let's take the next one. Grand assault. With this, um, Russia is getting creamed. And we're only fighting Russia, right? The Baltic stuff has been conquered. And it is just Russia right now. Okay. Once this gets crushed, I'll have all of these troops help on the other line. Come on. Wipe them out. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay. Reinforcements are coming. And now they've automatically started to spread out. And they're moving towards Moscow on their own. Here's the thing. They are now isolating the capital from the rest of their troops. Which is not good for them. Because that's where all the supply comes from. Are you moving? Yeah, you are. Just very, very slowly. It is June, so it's not going to be that cold in Russia, but um, it's still not going to be great. The infrastructure here is really bad, even if the weather is not as horrible as it could be. Okay, looks like we're going to take Petrograd anyway. Come on. Come on. We got... Well, they got the surround them on them. Yeah, there we go. We got the surround. Okay, let's take a uh, decryption. There are... New England has capitulated. Canada declared war on the United States. What? American alliance. With New England... So they created a faction. And the AUS are gonna win, apparently. Yeah, now that the Canada is also fighting them. So that's not great, but I don't think it matters that much. Fall of Petrograd, thank you. We're gonna move our tanks to here. And just move for, uh, what is this? Nizhny Novgorod, and go. Develop border regions is done. Uh, no, we don't need this. What is this? Another reinsurance treaty. This is against the Russians. No, we're at war with them. About to wipe them out. Uh, strategic destruction or battlefield support. Wait, what am I doing? I'm doing neither one of these. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um, let's stop this one then. Ah, that's such a waste. It's such a waste. Uh, we'll do this. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not going to do strategic destruction. We'll do battlefield support doctrine. Oh, this is such a waste. I've already gone two techs in. 
I should have read that. I should have read that. I, I hate it when they, like, force me to take either one. When I just... I wanted to take the other one. I, I really like that one. They gave me two options when there are technically three, which is just annoying. Hey, Moscow has fallen. Russia is still kicking, so they're good. But who are they fighting as well? They're fighting everybody. So I don't think we're going to get all of Russia for ourselves. Unfortunately. Nizhny Novgorod is left. Let's take a look at our supplies here. Uh, we're losing a lot of infantry equipment. But we got 182,000 of them. So we're fine. We're not going to suffer in that regard. Uh, I think we're spreading ourselves kind of wide here. Let's... Uh... Ah, come on. Let's go back up to like here. That should be a lot better. Leave this to uh, Ukraine. And we can sort of conquer all of things. And then we we'll just sweep down as well. Uh, Astrakhan is here. That's worth one. I think actually if we take Nizhny Novgorod, we can win. Right? Ah, uh, no. That might be not be enough. We'll have to see what happens. But we are just plowing through there. My tanks are doing a lot of damage. Let's take a look at casualties here. Half a million. I have lost what? 200,000. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, plow through. Okay, that was quick. Fighter models, air bases. Oh, this is temporary. Let's take this one. Come on! We should be conquering them so easily. Well, we should, to be honest. Our squads are ridiculously, ridiculously good. I have about 7,000 stockpiled motorized. Do I need to edit these guys to have logistics companies? I can do that. What about a field hospital as well? Yeah, I can do that as well. Wonderful. So now once they get their supplies, they're going to be very good. Let's get this one as well. More logistics with all this horrible uh, infrastructure. Um, it's mostly there. I don't see a lot of motorized. Like a hundred of them. So, once all of this gets delivered... Now this is actually just resupply. We're losing a lot of infantry equipment, as you can see. Oh, we're up to Nizhny Novgorod. We actually got a pocket. I find it weird that we can get these like natural pockets just by telling my guys to attack. I'm not microing anything right now. And I hate the graphics here. Nizhny Novgorod is fallen. They are still in this fight. Zaridzin is worth what? 10. Well, I'll have to shift. Or maybe I can just send my tanks. Okay, stop. Go here. And just plow through here. How about that? Go, 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 go. Also, I should probably pimp out my uh, tank squads. Oh, they already are. Never mind. That's why they're so effective. Because I'm maxed out on my army experience. I could uh, edit my light tanks a bit. There we go. Let's get this one. Close air support. That's more PP for me. Thank you. We could use it. And we're going to plow through all of these guys. 
And it looks like we're going to get some pockets down here. And Ukraine, and you need to push, man. You're just standing there. Oh, they cancelled their non-aggression pact with us. Really? Why would you do that? Are they going to declare war on us? I hope not. Well, then again, I don't really care. We can handle them. I think our borders are way too wide. But then again, this is the Russian borders. They are just always going to be massive. So, we've conquered everything up to... Uh, what's this place called? Let's see. The Ottomans request debt restructuring. Ottoman diplomats in Berlin have informed our foreign ministry that they have cancelled their loan payments to us. Instead of regular payments, they offer to send us consumer goods as compensation for our investments. It is clear that the... Refusing this offer may result in an unalliterated declaration of default. Uh, sure. What do I get? Consumer goods factories for 60 days. Sure. I don't mind. I don't mind. Yeah, take it. Yeah, it looks like Finland is just going to wipe these guys out. Which is wonderful. So, Zadzin. How are they doing on manpower? Uh, 1.2 million. Yeah, they're not going to have any problems for a while. And we're fighting on both sides of the river. That's really stupid. Get across, man. Get across. Come on, get across. Well, now you're across, but now you suck. What? Well, as long as we get to the capital, we'll be fine. Overrun. Nice. They're almost up. They're going to be at a million casualties by the end of this. How fast are they really supplying there? Wow, they're dropping so fast. They are at... Extensive conscription, so they can have a lot more. I don't want this. I don't need this. Let's just take Navy plan for fun. Um, get in there. Get in here. Okay, looks like we conquered everything up here. It's so much easier to conquer Russia from this side than if you're on like the A Asia side. You have to conquer all the way across the country. You have to start here and conquer all the way over here to get, just to get to Moscow and Petrograd and all that stuff. So it's really annoying to fight Russia if you're in Asia. But... Oh, we took it. Is that enough? No. What? Guns from Middle Africa. Thank you. That's two, a thousand guns. Where's your new capital? Really? <gasps> the United States has capitulated. Washington has fallen. <gasps> the AUS are left. What the fuck? New Hampshire got left behind. What happened here? Okay. Interesting. Oops, hit the mic there. Give me a second. Let's take a look at this. Um, the end of the American Civil War. Wonderful. Looks like this fractured. Oh, yeah, this is the out of bounds. The end of the American Civil War. For good or ill, the American Civil War is now over. The general staff had reported that they learned many valuable lessons regarding the nature of modern warfare over the course of the conflict. I get some PP and army experience. Oh, the PP is nice. Okay, can we take this capital here? It's worth five points. They changed their... Oh, man. Everybody's canceling their non-aggression pact with us. Uh, I need this. Yes, excellent. I need to get to 40. One more. And then we can get rid of this malice. Come on. Uh, we took Astrakhan. I don't know how. We just plowed through there. 
Yeah, but Russia, you're doomed. Just, just give up, man. Overrun. Just kill them, would you? Thank you. What is this? Oh, Navy program. Uh, the Kaiserlich Marine stands as the strongest navy in the world in the year 1936, but many challenges will face it in the coming years. The expansionist empire of Japan and resurgent commune of France both are key future enemies to upset German naval superiority across the world. In 1934, we have begun a large naval construction plan, and the ships begun then are slowly being finished. Okay, that was weird. However, with our naval industry still limited, we will have time to we will have to limit ourselves to one area of production. What should we focus on the next six months? Uh, battleships. Thank you. Of course, battleships. Uh, naval dockyard and base. Is this mutually exclusive? No, these two are. Fleet and being doctrines and base strike. No, fleet and being. Always. I always, always go with battleships. They're just so much better. Okay, so now that we've cut off the supply lines, the guy, these guys are just going to drop dead. We're going to pocket everything here. That's fine. Uh-huh. So we're just plowing them down. Yep. So the casualties should be... Whoa! 1.3 million. Russia. What is it with you and the casualties all the time? Huh? Kill him! Overrun! 27 dudes here. Logistics company, thank you. Let's get field hospital. Come on, let's just wipe out Russia here. They're up to... Wow! These casualties! Oh, uh, we're, we're wiping out. Yeah, we're stock wiping them. That's why it's so expensive. Uh, actually, why did I get this one? I'm not going to build that. Let's get the battleships. Come on, wipe them out. Uh, use our influence to revert his efforts. Yes. It's unfortunate, but we have to. We're going to get to 2 million. I thought I was just going to need 1 million casualties to to break Russia. But we're going to get to 2 million before the end of this, it looks like. Where is your new capital? Samara. So once we take this, I hopefully you're done. It's worth 3 victory points. You're kind of stretching right now. He's very, very much so just stretching for... Uh, for a capital. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. <sighs> it's December. Yeah, winter is gonna be a bitch. Heed the words of Donuts. Independent. No, this is Marines and transports. We don't need this. Let's get uh, this one. If we're going to fight the Entente later on, or... Yeah, we're going to need some uh, bigger boats, I think. Samara has been taken. It's still not enough. Really? What is the capital now? Novo. Really? We're up to Novo now. This is ridiculous. You should be. You should give up. You should give up at this point. Uh, I wish there was like a speed six or something. <gasps> oh, Mexico declared war in the PSA. Things are happening. I don't think they're good, but things are happening. 1940 in December. We can start doing this. Right... Come on. Oh, we have to fight across these mountains? There's got to be enough war score, like, that we can grab without having to go all the way there to Novo. We need 5% more. 
Here's one. A perm is worth one. Ufa is worth one. Uh, we're gonna have to conquer all of this. That is so annoying. He still's got like 75 divisions. Ah, uh, okay, let's go infiltration. Uh, let me see here. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna try to finish this, right? Let's just finish this war with Russia. And then we'll call it quits there. Let's say modernize our cruisers, fortify coast, no. No, 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 no. We'll modernize our stuff. Ufa has been taken. We are at what? 97%. Can you just die? And now you are making a border that is stupid. Against Persia. Mm -hmm. Can I tell these guys just to get to here? Nepal cancelled their non-aggression pact. People are cancelling their non-aggression pacts with us. Should I be concerned? Hope not. Everything keeps just flickering around here. I think, uh, getting across these mountains is going to be so slow. Yeah, more cancelling of aggression pacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try to finish this war quickly, shall we? So over here, things are a bit better, but then again, it's still just desert. But they, we are cut, cutting across it a bit quicker than the mountains. 99. We're up to 2.3 million casualties. Russia still has half a million dudes available. Thank you! Okay, if we pass once... Somebody took something. Persia took what? Karakum? What is that? What is Karakum? From whom? It says right click to go to state. I can't find it. Whatever. So I'm gonna take this. And I can't take all states. Let's, uh, I think I'll pass one more. He's taking more. If I take all states, that's not enough. I think I'll pass one more. And there we go. So take all states. Take all states. Uh huh. And turn done. Oh, now everything is freezing. Everything is freezing. So, Persia, what did you actually take? Nothing? Did he take something? Maybe. I'm not actually sure. But look at this German Empire. Wonderful. So I'm going to stop here. We just wiped out the Russians because they're jerks. And we got the Entente and we've got Austria left. I don't know what this is, but I don't think either one of them are going to be any problems. But anyway, I'm going to stop here. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya and happy holidays.